Welcome back fellow mobile game fanatics, my time here bringing another episode of Top Drives and in today's video we're going to see a mere mortal man become a god. No, we're not really, but what we are going to do is we're going to look at some changes that Hutch have put up on their forums to, to give a, a roadmap kind of guide to what's going to happen in the future and I'm going to link into five things that I think would actually help the game or improve the game in various ways. They're not going to be gameplay changes, okay? They're going to be other things generally. So, first of all, let's have a look. So we've got the release of that patch 11.2 coming out very, very soon. Following that will be patch 11.3, which is going to be the retune. And I haven't given a time on this, but this is going to be where they're going to make further improvements to engines and cars. So expect no real major balances in this update yes there are four cars which are being uh, reworked with regards to rq etc but three of those are price cars that haven't been released yet so that's going to be patch 11.3 and it's also going to introduce a one-off tuning service so if you've say tuned your car 323 and now you want to change it to 233 you will be able to and that feature will be coming out in patch 11.3 and after that they've said there'll be patch 11.4 which again no time but that is where they say here they've got nothing specific to announce yet they're testing all new ideas to make it more polished and less daunting for new players so that is important for the longevity of the game and need to keep bringing in new players into the game i think these rq changes will help because it's going to give you a broader spectrum and make potentially more cars more viable so people who start off with their garages if they haven't got some of the key cars they can still be a little bit competitive if that makes sense and with that they then said this is important because just as the team want to add the features veteran players have asked for and they think they're doing that in patch 11.2 11.3 they also gives them an opportunity to improve the long-term health of the game and this is where i want to bring in this video because i've got some ideas that i think would potentially be good to come in 11.4 or 11.5 and 11.5 is Beyond that, where they are going to be looking into the quality of life improvements and uh, you know maybe changing gameplay and like, improving the brand, then what they're going to do is probably come to patch 12, and that would be where new car models, new brands, etc., will come in. So don't expect any new cars in the game until patch 12. But that is where they said they're already looking at manufacturers and trying to get them involved in the game based on suggestions by top drive community. Uh, probably be cars, I'm imagining like Rolls Royce, uh, Ferrari, um, well, the T word which we're not allowed to say. You know, there are, there are quite a few other cars still out there which they could introduce. So that is kind of an idea, a roadmap for where they are going with it. So I thought, let's come and talk about the five features that I think the game would benefit from. And I'm gonna talk about those as I just play a couple of matches and get destroyed, okay? So you're not just watching the same screen. So the first thing I thought, and this is probably more of a, more of an issue for people like myself who want to bring videos to the community. And that would be the ability to be able to hold your packs for a period of time. Say for example, seven days. So what I would say is we come out, you buy a pack, you go into the shop, you buy a carbon fiber pack, you then have the option to put it into your mailbox or whatever it's gonna be called or open now. So you can open it now, boom, gone. Or you can put it into a mailbox and it stays there for seven days. Same when you collect your rewards. You collect a reward, you collect a theme and finals rewards, you can open a pack there or you can save to mailbox. And then what we can do is we can go to our mailbox and we can open a bunch of packs that we have pre-bought. They only have to stay there for a limited amount of time, not saying they stay there forever, but enough that we can then make a collection of pack openings in one go rather than having to piece together bits and bits and bobs. I don't think it would take much effort into the coding of the game to introduce something like that. Plus it would also, uh, who guess, it would also make the lives of people like myself and other people who bring you Top Drive videos a lot easier. Uh, that was my first idea. Now, granted, probably doesn't make a lot of difference to the majority of people out there. My second idea, get better prizes. Better prizes on the prize board. If you've gone and changed the cards in a certain way, 
great. I'm sure lots of people can be really happy to um, to see the RQ changes. Can we get some better prizes on the board? Now, they only have to be maybe, maybe for prize events, prize cars. Give the ability to draw super rare cars from the board. You have to remember some people, and I've done it before, are playing 130, 140, 150 matches, races, Give them an opportunity to pull something off the board, even if it's only super rare. I'm not saying it has to be ultra rare, or just in general, code it into the game that in any event, there is a, I don't know, a one in 25 chance of a super rare car being on the board, and a one in 100 chance of an ultra rare car being on the prize board, okay? Each time you refresh a fresh applied board either it could be back there so it gives people who farm and play the game another added incentive to keep playing knowing that oh I could actually get something decent from this especially people that are putting in all those hours and time into the game I think that would be a, a good addition personally uh, have I played all the carbon dating ones no sorry okay number three and this is one that I am actually I think a lot of people will be most excited about and it's surprising, like when you play other, if you play other gacha games or anything like that, or different kind of car collectors, it's surprising how something like I'm about to say can um, can be so exciting. But number three would be to have different car skins, as we could call them, available. So, for example, here if I'm using, well, I don't want to use a Volkswagen W12 Roadster as an example, but let's just say this and here you go, we use the GT1. This is the standard car picture, but you can either win or unlock or buy if they want to a different skin. So they can have this car on a different shot, this car in a different color, a different angle. They can be um, given to people as rewards. Okay, so when you do well in a cat in a special event, you get a. Not only do you win the. The, the car, say it, say it is the, um, say it's not a price car, say that you get a, an epic car, an ultra rare car, but you can get it in a different picture. And then you can swap between the two uh, just by going into your garage and clicking on the car and then choosing the image. So you can give away exclusive images to people who have won certain cars, done well in certain events, and you can also offer it as in skins, so people can people can pick it off the draft board. It's actually collect so many, it allows you to go and buy some from a shop. You can have some premium ones, which can only be bought for cash, whatever. But that ability to be able to customize the way some of your cars look, L lots of games do it. Yes, it is a bit of a cash cow, but it allows you to add some more personality to the game and to the cars. And also remember, you can give it away to people free. People can earn it in the game. You can keep some of the cars to be exclusive and that doesn't mean every car has to have an alternate skin some cars may have multiple and you can just gradually introduce new ones introduce new ones personally i think that is something that a lot of people would enjoy to have added to the game uh, although it isn't something that's really going to affect the gameplay you could add stats to them so certain cars say for example um, I'll just pick a, any car here, it doesn't really matter. Say this Nissan Primera, if you had a certain skin on it, it would reduce it 0 to 60 from 9.3 to 9.2, or it would give it an extra one handling and two top two miles per hour top speed. I'm not saying do that. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying add any stat bonuses to this to the, the alternate cars. You could do, but I'm not I'm not suggesting to do that. I'm suggesting to give some more diversity to your vehicles. With that, it brings me to number four. Now, number four is the ability to exchange cars that you have for tokens, okay? Like tokens, not actual cars that you can use to upgrade different cars. So what I mean by that is, for example, I will exchange 10 Super Rares. We'd have to work over the figure one. I can exchange 10, 10 super rares and I get one ultra rare token. And I can then use that token to upgrade an epic car. I don't actually have to get rid of three of my epic cars. I can use 
three ultra rare tokens. It requires me sacrificing lower grade cast in order to get these tokens, but then it means as I am pulling cards, I can hold on to them. I don't have to think, oh, which card do I want the least? Because I've got to get rid of, you know, I need to upgrade this car, which of these cars. You can, it allows people to collect the cars and actually hold on to more cars without having to decide which ones they want to sacrifice and which they don't. Especially now with the RQ changes and, and the, um, the need to have a greater collection of cars has, in, has increased. Having slots is going to become more important because people are going to need to hold on to more and more cars. So give people, give people the option to do that. Give people the option to sacrifice five ultra rare cards to get one epic token, which can then be used to upgrade, <coughs> excuse me, upgrade the legendary car. So they don't actually have to physically get rid of the epic cars to do so. I'm not saying that you um, you can exchange 10 super rare cars for a random ultra rare car. Yes, that would be amazing, but that might break the game a bit too much. I'm not too sure, it would probably have to be looked into, uh, but certainly at least if it was a token, that wouldn't break the game. It would just mean people could feel they got a bit more use out of some cars that they're not using, um, especially in the low lands, because they could then use them to build tokens, which could improve cars that they are using. And that brings me kind of into my fifth one. And I think this is the best, the best one of all you may disagree but i think they should introduce some form of car sorry what am i doing here uh getting smashed is what i'm doing here um who cares they should bring in some form of car collection reward so the idea is you get achievements for collecting cars so it's like a ladder system okay so every time you collect a car you get so many points towards this once you hit certain points you reach milestones you get prizes you get gold you get cash you get packs as you go further and further you get carbon fiber packs you get you get special car packs rewards everything so every single car i'm using here would get me so many points obviously legendary cards would be worth more with commons and uncommons not being worth as much but what that would mean is that people can keep climbing up a ladder every time you open a pack, even if you get a car you don't want, if you haven't had it before, it's gonna to register to you towards your points, towards your rewards. All you could, all you need to do is, and I'll show you after this game, so let me just, it doesn't really make much difference, is it? I'm gonna get smashed left, right, and center. Um, so, all you need to do is keep a record kind of somewhere of the kind of cars people have had. So once you've had the car, you can sell it, you can fuse it, do whatever you like, and it doesn't matter, okay? It will still be recorded. And where could you record it? Well, you could record this for people by just going to all cars and you clicking on, for example, Alfa Romeo. If you've got the car like it is here, it'll be, it, it won't be shaded out. If you've had a car and got rid of it, let's just say, for example, um, I'd had the Mito here and I'd got rid of it, well, it would have just a little green, a little green dot in the corner or something along those lines. <clears throat> so every time you have a car, it's just got a little green dot in here in the corner to let you know you've had it. If it doesn't have it, if you haven't had it, it's got no dot and it's banned out. If you've had it, but you got rid of it, it would still have the green dot in the background, but it would be shaded out like this, for example. Then you can also do other rewards. If you manage to complete a whole car collection, excluding prize cars, for example, you get a bonus. So you complete, you get every single Alfa Romeo car, or you've collected every single Alfa Romeo car at some stage with the exception of prize cars. You get a special carbon fiber pack, say Italian Renaissance carbon fiber pack. If you do the same with Porsche, you get a special Porsche. You know, there's gonna be some cars, yes, Aerial, are gonna be extremely hard to complete, but if you manage to complete Aerial, get all, you know, all six air atoms which or Aerials which aren't prize cars, you get a special reward. And I think what that will do is it will encourage people to open certain packs. Uh, it will encourage people to want to collect the cars and not be so disappointed if they get cars they don't want. Think, oh, I'm not gonna use it, but it goes to my car collection. And you can you can show this number for people. It can be like a trophy. You can 
you can get different avatars. So rather than being forced to have one picture on your account, you get an avatar, you unlock certain certain badges, etc., etc., which you can attach to your account. You can then see when you're playing people, you can get an idea, oh wow, this person's got, you know, had a lot of cars. There is a slight issue. I don't expect the game to be able to, um, should we say, backdate people. So it will kind of be going from now. So yes, there's all these people that have had all these cars which you have had and got rid of. Unfortunately, I just accept that that is just the way it is. But if you gave people enough lead time, they could encourage them to hold on to cars, especially the higher value cars, not to use yet, to get those initial points in their in their collection. And then they then you could just say, yeah, okay. And from here it keeps uh, it keeps adding to it. I think that just gives everyone a nice a nice way to have a not so much a competitive um, uh, a competitive edge added, but. Uh, just see what this happens uh, it will at least let people feel that they've got some kind of reward for getting cars that they don't want because as they work out especially imagine those ladder rewards you can get titanium packs you can get special you could get you know you get special German Renaissance carbon fiber special uh, sorry German is it German Renaissance can't remember hmm no it's not is it hmm I can't remember what it's actually called. That's annoyed me now. I'm going to have to check. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. What is it? It's German Renaissance. Why did I think it wasn't German Renaissance? Okay. Yeah, American Dream, etc. So there are five things that I think could be introduced into the game which don't require any real changes to the way the game is currently being played. Uh, I'm not on about changing you know, tracks, changing... Um, changing up performance, changing up stats, etc. I'm just about adding things which you can do to make it a little bit more fun and also add a bit of character and give some rewards back to the players for playing your game. Um, especially, you said, the car collection, because the more cars people collect, you give something back. It just encourages, it gives people a sense of a goal. You know, who can get to that top? Is anyone ever going to collect every single car? <sighs> Probably not, but it will be nice when you start to... Uh, when you're a couple of cars away from getting a titanium pack and suddenly you pull a legendary and it gives you those few points to get you over and you're like, yes, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, I've been my time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you think the ideas that I come up with is good, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully I'll be able to get some people from Hutch to see it. And there may be one or two things there that they can look into and think, yeah, actually, that could work. That isn't a bad suggestion. So thank you. I will be back hopefully when the next patch comes out. 11.2 should be soon. Hopefully it's going to be soon. But until then, have a very good day and I'll see you all soon.